What's up guys, I wanna show you how we do 99% of our transitions from the solar array wiring down into the home runs back to the solar arc. So I wanna show you how we do this part with our IMO disconnect, our pass-through box, and our weather head. So the support structure you see holding up these solar panels is the Sky Rack by Sinclair Designs. This is a super economical single line of post style mount. Uh, these are all galvanized. You can concrete the post in the ground or drive the post and we can ship these to all 48 states. If you're looking for a quote on this rack, please contact me. This is a USA made product. If you need tech support, you can get somebody on the phone. Really good turnaround and availability and the rack in this video is about $2,200 for the 12 panel rack. So pretty much do all these pull boxes the same. Uh, 12 by 12 by 4 NEMA 3R pull box. Uh, usually it's a lot easier to mount it to this side if you can. But uh, if you have to, you can mount it to this side. You just have to do some strut. Whereas typically these pull boxes have their mounting holes on the back side right there. And you can just self tapper them to the back side of this. Uh, we always do Myers hubs. And we've gotten to where we use a lot of chase nipples or... Uh, it's like a, a, a close, uh, what they call a threaded nipple right there. And then uh, that just firms it up. Once you get uh, a piece of strut behind it, it firms the switch up. Because even though these IMO switches have like zero failures out there, and there's millions of them. There's the part number on this one. It is not the most, like the, the enclosure of the switch is kind of flimsy in my opinion. So... Once you get it right there and right there and you keep it out of the sun, I think it's gonna last plenty long. Then we always do another Myers hub and I either do one inch or one and a quarter right here. One inch is always enough for bringing in some solar strings. Always wanna get your wires, let them go down first before they go back in. That allows you to uh, drip any water off. I'll probably get another clip on there before I'm all done. And then on our wires, we're using two different types of PV wire clips. Sometimes we use three different types. That's like a four wire clip. That'll hold a bunch more wires. And we've got a right angle clip. It clips on like this, but it can clamp the wire at a right angle. And then we've got a regular clip. Let me see if I can show you a regular clip. Well, there's one stuck in there, but the regular cl clip is just a straight up PV wire clip. So you just wanna get the wires protected. And um, you know, on this particular array, like I said, we've got it in two strings of six. So these are like, the open circuit voltage of these is around 50 volts. Operating voltage is around 40 volts. So one, two, three, four, five, six times four. That's gonna be operating at about 240 volts. And the VOC is going to be around 300 volts. And then, of course, each panel makes about 10 amps. Well, they make about 9 amps on uh, 9.7 amps at max power, 10 amps short circuit current. So that at this distance, 250 volts, 10 amps. I'm using number 10 wire to go back. So this is how we always do our pull boxes though and it's nice to have a tall box when you're pulling into something and then you know at the other pull point you can see I've got a a uh, LB or an LL or an LR I always forget how you, you hold it like that if it opens that way it's an LR and if it opens that way it's an LB that's that conduit fitting I'm talking about there so yeah this is how we do 99% of our pull boxes on solar arrays our junction boxes are where we mount our disconnects Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar. Thanks for watching.